All right, so let's jump into it. So a lot of you have heard about strong, and you want to stake strong because when you stake 10 strong, you get 0.1 strong per day. That's like 70 bucks passive income per day, maybe 85 bucks today because the price is strong, about 86 bucks. So how do you do it in a safe way where you're actually using one of these little ledgers? And this is something I could not find anywhere, and it's been a struggle trying to do this. But let me tell you, the first bit of this is I'm going to show you how to stake strong with a ledger in this video. But let's first get into this. Um, staking was strong. It's an ERC-20 token. It's an Ethereum-based token, so there's going to be some fees. So if we go over to the heat map, the best time to do this is on the weekends, you know, where the actual average gas price is about 64 GUI. Right now it's about Saturday. You can see it gets super expensive sometimes. But just be careful of this because, you know, you may think it's, you know, it says like five bucks. Well, truth is, if it's 54 GUI today, it's going to be about 46 to 50 bucks just to stake this on top of MetaMask fees. So it's going to be expensive to stake. So wait for gas to be cheap. All right. So let's let's jump into this. The first thing you got to do is you got to have Ledger Live. So you've create a Ledger Live. You have your Nano or your X or whatever you've got. Now what we've got to do is get over here. Let's 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 open our wallet. So right now I just have my main MetaMask and a ledger connected. But the way you actually connect to it is we're going to actually log into this ledger. And what happens sometimes is you can't get that Ethereum bridge to connect and turn on. So what I do is I'll actually remove this ledger. And it doesn't remove anything but connecting it to my MetaMask. So we'll start this all over again. So I'm going to connect to hardware wallet doing the ledger, connect. So sometimes it just will not connect, meaning the ledger does not connect over to ledger live and it just doesn't connect. Okay, computer has been entirely restarted. Everything's fresh. Now we're gonna go in here and make sure on settings that it is connected to ledger live. We go down, okay, Ledger Live is connected, only available in Chrome. We are in Chrome. All right, so now let's just go ahead and connect our hardware wallet, which isn't even really uh, connected to the computer and see what happens. All right, okay, this is perfect. We wanted this. So at this point, I would say open Ledger Live, and I would connect in the Ledger. So hopefully Ledger Live opens up, connecting this guy. All right, something's happening. And that's Ledger Live opening up. Now put in your pin. So I've put in my pin, so this little guy's unlocked. And we're gonna see if this time it works. So now we're gonna approve, expose your device accounts through WebSocket. Yes, we want that. We're gonna see what the pops up. It says open Ethereum app right here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Last time we had an error. Yes, so maybe just a full restart makes it work. All right, now let's see if it shows up here. Okay, this is exactly what we wanted. Okay, we're in, we're in. All right, we disregard this. Uh, we see it is in our, our ledger and we can actually go check out strong block.io you know I've never successfully added the strong token to my MetaMask wallet inside of my ledger so this is the strong token copy the contract right here let's see if this works out we're gonna go to assets yep we're gonna go to assets even right here we get this go to assets we're gonna import a custom token go to custom token Throw the contract address down here. Awesome. 
All right, import that token. Perfect. So we see that we have strong and we have ETH, both of which are needed because there's a bunch of gas fees and we want to stake our strong. Okay, this is a good start. This is working well. So we're going to go to strong block on the app. And remember, if, if it's not connecting or recognizing you to the WebSocket connection, restart the computer, restart the browser, try again. Um, delete MetaMask. you got to keep trying. So now we're going to connect to the wallet. All right, we're going to connect to the wallet. We're going to go to MetaMask. We're going to go to Ledger, connect. All right. All right. So look at that. We actually, this is the, I've been so much troubleshooting to get to this point, but we see that we have some ETH, we have some strong, and we're about ready to start a node. All right, let's create our node. Crypto. Cash camp. One. And then we will go with the date, which is 1023. 23. Dash 21 first. All right, we're going to have to pay 15 bucks. We get that. We're going to create the strong. We know what we're doing. And also, what I like to do right before I do this is let's look at those ETH gas prices. Gas price. This has been the most. Okay, 70 makes us about 57. I'm about sick of, <laughs> this is about the cheapest day to do this, so 79. So what happens when we jump into this is we're gonna pay two fees. Um, and I wanna show you what the ETH gas heat map looks like. So essentially I just wait for this to go down a little bit and then I will stake it. All right, so I'm kinda sick of waiting. It's gone down to about 67 and uh, if we go to it's about 2 p.m. Um, we're looking at it. It should be about 49 gui. But, you know, um, 67. You see 575, super de deceiving. It should be out of remove LP tokens, which should be about 48, probably 50 bucks. So let's see what happens when we do this. We are going to approve that. We are going to approve the strong. Hmm. 18 bucks is the first fee. And then I always like to do this. We're going to edit the, um, we don't do unlimited spends where I come from. So we're going to do, you know, 10.1. Cause this can drain your wallet. So we're going to confirm that $18 in ETH. All right. We're waiting for something to happen in MetaMask. Don't want to speed that up. Cost too much. Okay, so one thing is, is once you approve this transaction, it's showing up on MetaMask like this, like still pending. And we're seeing that we need to approve this transaction. It's the amount is 10.1 strong. I really want it to be 10 strong, but you know I'm at that point where let's just get it done. So I approve the ETH fees. The max ETH fees are going to be 0 0.0057. So let's see what that looks like. So... 0 0.0057, so $23, sure. Let's do that. Prove and accept after looking through the contract address. Application's ready. Now, let's see if MetaMask is spinning. So we're still at pending. And we're just waiting. Something's happening here. I'm going to pause this. Okay, so strong have been approved. Look at Etherscan. All right, well, didn't exactly get a time to look at that. All right, so it's been approved. So now we do our next thing, which is submit down here at the bottom. I'm just checking here, nothing's spinning. I'm seeing that it's been approved. The strong has at least been approved and we haven't quite staked. We see gas prices are down to 70, which for all you nerds out there is 57 bucks to stake this. So let's do it. All right. Estimated gas fee is 48 bucks. 
So we can edit this and we want, you know, cheap. Um, maybe in 30 seconds. Okay, let's edit this low, medium, high, uh, low. Okay, who cares? Let's just go with this. Enable Ledger Live, Settings, Advanced, Open Ledger. So let's make sure this works. We're looking at a total of 64 bucks, which is awesome. Not super excited about it, but it's what you have to do to, to get on Ethereum. So we're going to approve that. New address detected. All right. So we are going to we just confirm that. Now we're just kind of wondering what's going on. So something submitted. Let's see what's going on over here. Let's confirm that. Okay. Review transaction. Let's do this, guys. So a couple extra steps. Line signing. Max ETH fees. Ooh. So the ETH fees here are 0.014. Just good for you guys to, to understand that these things cost. Accept and send. Let's do that. Okay. It says application is, sorry, is ready. Node created. Oh my goodness. So, if anyone tells you that you cannot create a node from a ledger, or no one's giving you information because... Support it strong doesn't help. Their Discord doesn't help. Um, or, I mean, their Telegram. So, this is the way to do it. You can do it. It's possible. So, let's just save that screen. And let me tell you, the strong support does not help at all. We're going to view this on Etherscan just to make sure we have a backup. So, yeah, if you like videos like this trying to solve problems, if you guys like to make passive income in the crypto space, um, Subscribe. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments. If anything you want me to, to build out or do or make a video about, I can do this. So um, if you're interested and you want to make money in the crypto space, in a passive income manner, hit me up. All right. So just in summary, it says no one's going to ask you for your seed phrase. You know this. We've created the node. We're going to take the screenshot just for file records and... We understand so we're gonna go ahead and click I understand one node created all right you guys can do the same thing too you can do it all through ledger no matter what anyone else tells you this is how you do it all right see you guys on the next one make sure to like subscribe hit me with a comment about anything I'll answer it